Big cities have big problems. They guzzle resources and energy, creating waste and emissions. Zina is taking the plane to her business meeting. Her thoughts are with Tom and the children. Hopefully they'll make it in this morning. Half seven. It's going to be tight. Benny had been late yesterday. A traffic jam again. Let me pass, you idiot. We're never going to make it. It's the same old rat race every morning. Today, more people live in cities than in the countryside. Even though cities only cover 3% of the surface of the Earth, they produce 80% of global emissions. By the middle of this century, three quarters of the global population will live in cities. In terms of the space we need to reproduce our living standards, we've already been treading on each other's toes for some time now. What can we do about it? We have to reduce our footprint and leave room for others. We need a better balance between what we consume and what nature produces. Our metropolis of the future is called Ecopolis. This regenerative city is part of nature's cycles and doesn't disrupt them. Let's jump forward to the year 2050. Zina is about to video call her family. Will they make it in today? The weather's looking good. Tom takes Paulina and Benny to school by bike. It's the quickest way anyway. When it starts to rain, he makes a snap decision to put them on the monorail. He himself takes an electric car from the car sharing program. Hardly anyone owns a car anymore. Paulina and Benny enjoy the view. The Ecopolis creates space for the needs of its inhabitants. Renewable resources such as sun, wind and biomass supply the city with energy and CO2 emissions are reduced to a minimum. Newly planted woods improve the climate. We grow some of our food in the city itself. Water is recycled and waste is turned into raw materials for new products. Phew! Made it! Ecopolis is good for your nerves, too. <laughs>